party. You don't have to vote for the Republican. Um, yeah. Take a look at Chuck Baldwin at baldwin08.com. He's got a great um, platform. He wants to bring our troops home from Iraq. He's 100% for the Second Amendment. Um, he's for low taxes, um, getting rid of the Federal Reserve, the income tax, um, no new world order. Please check out Chuck Baldwin and um, look at all the third world party candidates. Thank you. Yeah, that was that Galveston reference came back to me again, and I thank you. All right, uh, Bill Holloway, uh, let me get your title right here. Uh, Green Party of Travis County. Thank you very much. Well, I want to thank Texas for Accountable Government for hosting this issue. Accountable Government is something we've got to have. Green Party also is asking everybody to, to at least go out and vote. Get out there, get in line and vote, and choose the candidate and the vision of your conscience and vote that. For those of you who want to take a look at the Green Party, votetruth08.com is our presidential candidate website, Cynthia McKinney, Rosa Clemente. Cynthia is a write-in candidate in Texas. You've got to choose write-in for the presidential race and then spell out Cynthia McKinney. Or McKinney. That'll work too. MCK, I think you also said one day. MCK will also work. Okay. 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 We have that clear now, right? Okay. All right. Here we go. The Green Party believes, uh, acknowledges right up, straight up, that government in this country has been the source of a lot of trouble and a lot of problems for a lot of people. It's been a real problem. But the government can also be the source of a lot of hope and a lot of help. But we have to be the ones running it. Yeah. We need to optimize the size of government to serve us in the ways we need to be served. And then we have to hold them accountable. And we have to ensure that we are, when we give the sweat of our brow, tax dollars, the, the, the most what should be the most carefully spent dollars in the world, in our country, are spent in ways that really serve us. We are a community, and we need to hold together as a community, and that's what government really needs to be about. Thank you. All right, now Wes Benedict, Executive Director of the Libertarian Party of Texas and candidate for Travis County Commissioner Court Place 3. Final statement. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for coming out here also. Uh, keep in mind that Republicans and Democrats draw the district lines. Sometimes Democrats have control, sometimes Republicans do, and they draw the districts. Most districts, most of the races out there, if you look at county commissioners, state rep, U.S. Congress, president, the, the outcome's not likely to be close. So, you know, if you're in Texas and you go vote for McCain or Obama, you're not sending much of a message. Uh, there are, uh, so I, I would encourage you to consider voting third party. If you know, you're so scared of one party or the other, most races it won't matter. Now, I, I agree also with what y'all said, though. It, it is more important to vote your conscience, and uh, of course my conscience is with the Libertarian Party, and that's what I've been voting for. Um, we, we don't win many elections, or maybe we don't win any elections in partisan races, but we try and get out there and send a message. Uh, we're for smaller government, we're for lower taxes. Uh, sometimes we get out issues that wouldn't be there if we weren't here in existence. We were out there saying the domain subsidies are wrong. Uh, we're for privatizing everything, but we were out there saying these toll road plans are wrong for Central Texas. <laughs> We've got a record number of candidates on the ballot for Libertarians in Texas, 173 candidates. We've got record fundraising this year, and so I, I hope that we can keep this momentum going beyond Election Day. But I also want to encourage you to help give us some encouragement by voting Libertarian November 4th. Thank you. All right, Don Zimmerman, Liberty Caucus, Republican candidate for County Tax Assessor Collector. Well, thanks again, Scott. I want to say thanks again to Tag. Great form. It does say Republican Party here. I am a Goldwater Republican and a Ron Paul Republican. That's who I am. <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, Ron Paul, in my opinion, in my studied opinion, is more Republican than the governor. Ron Paul is more Republican than the president. He's more Republican than the senators. Because a Republican is somebody that follows the Constitution and upholds the Republican platform. And uh, I stand with Ron Paul. We are more Republican than all the people that are attacking us. So, speaking of uh, uh, West Benedict, good friend of mine, the uh, Republican Party, I did ask the uh, uh, Libertarian candidate to drop out because the Republican Party does assume me, uh, 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 they do assault me and accuse me of being a Libertarian. They do it every day. 
The Republican Party does that, but uh, the uh, Libertarians do have a candidate running against them for Travis County uh, Tax Assessor Collector. Uh, that's free country, they're free to do that. But I want, I want to drink a little bit of the Kool-Aid here about the community stuff, all right? I'm going to drink some community Kool-Aid because I want, to, I want to leave you with one thought, and that is that both presidential candidates, Obama and McCain, they both voted for the $750, $750 billion bailout, all right? right. <laughs> but Lloyd Doggett did not, my local <laughs> All right, Mike McCall did not. A, a round of applause, please, for our panel, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight and participating in this debate. I want to thank you all in the audience for your participation and attention as well. And uh, I'm now going to pass the mic off to Tom White, who put this whole thing together for us, and uh, bid you all good night. All right. Thank you to everyone for coming out. Erica Grignon. Bill Holloway, Cat Swift, Wes Benedict, Don Zimmerman, Debbie Russell, and Andy Brown. And uh, if you want to donate uh, $5 or more, I won't object. Uh, if you enjoyed this debate or you thought it was useful, uh, I'm hoping to put on another event like this in the future. And, and so thanks for everybody for coming out. And next time we put one on, spread the word. And, and uh, I think this was pretty, I think everybody had a really good time tonight. So if you do want to donate some money, look for me and I'll have the. Uh, Quaker Oats box with uh, that you can put money in. Thanks. <laughs> now our friend DJ Schooley will play a little music, but yeah, hang out a little bit. Buy some drinks from Spider House. Buy something from these waiters. They'll really appreciate it. Hang out and, and we can all chat. Look for me. I'll be around here. Tip your waiters and waitresses, please. Tip them well. And join us at our protest. Halloween night, 10 o'clock, Fort de Lavaca. Stop the vampire police from drinking your blood. <laughs> it's 9. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Fort de Lavaca. Keep it rocking. Yeah. It is cool. I mean, during the course of it, from, uh...